Welcome back, friends, uh, to our botany unit. We are going to be talking about parts of and types of stems today. The first thing that we're going to be covering are parts of a stem. The stem, or the main stem, is a part of a plant that grows upward. It supports the leaves and fruit and brings water and minerals to all parts of the plant. Edible stems include celery and asparagus. The main bud is part of the stem that causes the upward growth of the plant. As it grows, the stem gets longer. An axle is an angle between a branch or leaf and the stem from which it grows. A secondary stem is a smaller stem that grows from the main stem. The branches of a tree, for example, are secondary stems that grow off of the main stem, which would be the trunk. A secondary bud grows out of the secondary stem. They cause the secondary stems to grow longer. A node is the point of attachment of a leaf or leaves to the stem. And finally, an internode is a portion of stem between two nodes. Now that we know the parts of a stem, we'll be discussing types of stems. There are many different types of stems, but the most common and one that most friends know about are aerial stems. An aerial stem is just a stem that grows above ground. An arborescent stem is a thick, tall, woody stem like the trunk of a tree. There's usually just a single arborescent stem. A corm Yes, corm with an M, not an N. A corm is a short, fleshy bulb-like stem surrounded by a few thin leaves. It has bulbs at the top of the stem. The example I have here is called a crocus. I apologize in advance, friends, for this one because it is kind of hard to see the label, but this is an example of a subterranean stem, uh, which is ginger. A subterranean stem is any stem which grows underground or partially underground. Types of subterranean stems include bulbs, corm, rhizomes, and stem tubers. A climbing stem is a stem which needs support to grow. These stems grow up along walls, fences, and trellises. Common climbing stems include vines like ivy, sweet pea, and hydrangea. Uh, I know that Chicago has quite a bit of ivy, so if you go on some walks, make sure you take a look at some trees or some fences to see if you find any ivy. An erect stem is a stem which grows upright without any support. Most plant stems are erect. If you've been paying attention, you'll notice that I've used the same picture now for a second time because it's such a good example of a rhizome as well. A rhizome is a horizontal underground stem that functions mainly in reproduction, but it also stores food for the plant. And some examples of this include ferns, irises, and ginger, like I have pictured in front of us. An herbaceous stem is a stem that is soft and green instead of hard and woody. Plants with herbaceous stems are usually annual plants that live only one year. A procumbent stem is a stem which trails along the ground. It does not grow roots along the stem. Some types of procumbent plants include pearlwort, which is the picture in front of you, petunia, and sorrel plants. A scape is a stem that holds flowers. It has no normal leaves. Some examples of this would include a lily and an iris. A stem tuber is a large underground stem that stores food for the plant. Plants with stem tubers include potatoes and begonias, but they are different from root tubers like sweet potatoes. A runner is a stem that grows horizontally out of the ground, which means it grows sideways. Examples include strawberries and spider plants. The picture that you have in front of you is a strawberry plant. A decumbent stem lies flat on the ground and turns up at the ends. So if you look carefully at the picture in front of you, uh, towards the bottom, the stems are kind of turning outwards. Some examples of decumbent stems include thyme and phlox. A woody stem and no, we're not talking about Toy Story, is a type of erect stem. It is hard and textured. Woody stems grow from one central location at or near the ground. 
just like this rose bush. And last, but certainly not least, my very favorite type of stem, a succulent stem, which retains water so that the plant can grow in dry conditions. They expand to store water, which gives them a very swollen appearance. Most cactuses have succulent stems. All right, and that brings us to the end where it's time to record your work. If you have any questions about recording your work, some things that you can do for this work uh, is go to the drive where you can find three part cards for parts of a stem as well as types of stems. Or if you wanna get creative, feel free to draw some stems or different types of stems. Go ahead and record them in your compositional book. See you guys later.